And so today, what I'd like to do uh, is to work on a bipartisan basis to do two things. First, instead of waiting until after the election uh, to uh, put together some big omnibus spending bill uh, with, a, with a bunch of wasteful spending, why wouldn't we do this? Why don't we pass a bill this month at 2008 spending levels, you know, before the TARP, before the bailouts, before the stimulus, uh, and let's put some certainty in the economy. It, that in and of itself would save about $100 billion this year alone. And then secondly, uh, why wouldn't we work together uh, to make it clear that all current tax rates uh, will be extended for the next two years? So you're open uh, what to that will do, what, what that will do is help small businesses who have no clue what the coming tax rates are going to be, uh, gives them some certainty. And if we're able to do this uh, together, I think we'll show the American people that we understand what's going on in the country and uh, we'll be able to get our economy moving again and get jobs growing in America. So you're open to the president's ideas. You're also making these two proposals of your own for the president. You talked about that two-year extension of the Bush tax cuts. As you know, the president is ex against right now the extension for the wealthy. But his former budget director, Peter Orzag, made a similar proposal about this two-year extension. But he said, but they have to expire after two years so we can reduce the deficit. Are you open to that part of it as well? George, we, we can't uh, deal with the deficit. Uh, until we're willing to get our arms around spending and have a strong economy. And you can't have a strong economy if you're raising taxes on the very people uh, that you expect to invest in our economy uh, and to begin hiring people again.